President Paul Kagame. The Edelstam Foundation respectfully calls upon the authorities of the Republic of Rwanda to re release Paul Rusesabagina, an esteemed human rights activist and board member of the Edelstam Foundation. Mr. Rusesabagina was held incommunicado for three days and has been imprisoned for more than 260 days in Rwanda. Even though the charges against him, the legal procedure of his trial and his incarceration do not meet international standards. Mr. Rusesabagina is accused of nine offenses, among them murder, armed robbery, abduction and being a member of a terrorist organization. According to an article in the New York Times on February 16, 2021, these charges pivot around the fact that Mr. Rusese Bagina was involved in and in charge of the Rwandan Movement for Democratic Change, MRCD. His involvement in MRCD has led the Rwandan government to presume that he was also in charge of, and even the founder of, National Liberation Front, FLN, and thus also involved in the alleged terrorist attacks. However, according to Professor Brian Endless, senior advisor to the Hotel Rwanda Rususe Bagina Foundation, these two parties operate independently and Mr. Russo Sebagina did not become involved in MRCD until two years after the FLN had already been founded. Furthermore, when the alleged attacks became public, Mr. Russo Sebagina demanded a United Nations uh, investigation into the events. On April 29, 2021, witness Herman Nessingmana and Mark Niseyimana stated that Mr. Paul Rusese Bagina had not been in charge of the FLN forces. Instead, they reported that they had received uh, orders from General Wilson uh, Iratageka, according to an article published by the Courthouse News Service on April 29, 2021. There has never been an international arrest warrant, nor an Interpol warrant issued for Mr. Paul Bruce Sebagina. And according to lawyer uh, Peter Koharis, Rwandan officials at the top level colluded to ab uh, abduct Mr. Bruce Sebagina rather than following US deportation practice. Aligning with the International Bar Association Human Rights Institute, IBHARI, the Edelstam Foundation reiterates that Rwanda government has violated Mr. Paul Rusu Sebagina's human rights. Mr. Rusu Sebagina was kept in an unknown location for three days. And according to lawyer, uh, the lawyers Peter Koharis and Kate Gibson, he has been subjected to torture and the Rwandan government has also restricted his access to lawyers as well as impeded their work by confiscating documents. The conditions of Mr. Rusu Sebagina's imprisonment violate the United Nations standard minimum rules for imprisonment, i.e. the Nelson Mandela rules. These rules declare that solitary confinement for more than 15 consecutive days is illegal. Still, according to Kitty Kurth, Senior Communications and Strategy Advisor for the Hotel Rwanda Rusese Bagina Foundation, the, the Rwandan government has kept Mr. Rusese Bagina in solitary confinement for as long as 260 days. Moreover, Mr. Rusese Bagina suffers from a heart condition that requires prescription, uh, prescription medication. 
According to his family, the Belgian embassy delivered medication to where Mr. Rususebagina was located in September, but it was confiscated by the authorities, which puts Mr. Rususebagina's health at great risk. Mr. Rususebagina is a Belgian citizen as well as a permanent residence, a resident of the U.S. However, the support from the international community is also important because of the serious violations of Mr. Paul Rusesebagina's human rights. Against this background, the Edelstam Foundation, as part of the international community, respectfully calls upon you, Mr. President, to immediately release Paul Rusesebagina, board member of the Edelstam Foundation. We sincerely hope that you will consider our request. On behalf of the board of the Edelstam Foundation, Caroline Edelstam, President.